Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So today, guys, I'm going to talk about Draft Champions. Uh, it is a gameplay mode that I've used to play a lot um, on previous Madden series, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and jump back into it. This is going to be a gameplay mode that I'm going to be using a lot going into the second half of the season. Uh, primarily because I just think the gameplay is a little bit better when you have more equal teams and uh, you don't, you're not playing against real stack teams or just playing against the same teams and regs. So um, I went ahead and did some uh, extensive studying of the draft championship uh, draft uh, process when you actually draft players. And I, I figured out an algorithm or basically a way that you can strategically get a better draft uh, opposed to not having this information. So if you go into uh, your draft without uh, a clue on what to expect out of the cards and the algorithm that you're going to get, uh, you can obviously draft bad teams. This is going to give you, uh, empower you with the right type of information to be able to go ahead and go in strategically with an idea of getting a draft. So this is what I did. I actually basically studied about 20 different drafts and I actually started tracking drafts and I, had, I went ahead and, and created a spread sheet just to see if there's any kind of patterns and I've discovered a lot of patterns that actually appear uh, you're gonna have a lot of guaranteed positions that you can actually draft uh, in the skill positions on offense you're gonna have an opportunity to skill to draft so many offensive linemen you're also gonna have guaranteed positions you're gonna be able to get uh, in the defensive categories such as defensive players uh, linemen or uh, front seven players and then you're gonna get uh, basically a batch of random pick selections where there's really no rhyme or reason um, from it but there's actually some some uh, type of guarantee so uh, let's go ahead and talk about the offensive skill positions because this is gonna be one of the things that uh, it's gonna really help you with your draft one of, the, one of the things they did with, with Madden, um, with the draft champions, is they give you one opportunity to draft a quarterback. Now, you could get a quarterback in the final round, but usually all you really need to do is just pick that one quarterback that you're going to get. So there's a guaranteed one running, uh, a quarterback position that you're going to get. It's going to be Steve Young. Um, you know, it's going to be uh, Jared Goff. It's going to be a, a Wentz. You know, those type of players right now that are hot cards. Another thing we have, too, is the running back position. You're going to have a couple times where you're going to be able to pick a running back. Now, if you take a look at these guaranteed uh, uh, pick selections, you'll notice you'll see two running back slots that actually will appear. You'll have three running backs that will be offered where you're going to have to pick a running back, and then there's going to be another round that's going to come around to you where you can pick a running back, a wide receiver, and a tight end. Now, they're usually lower tiered uh, where, they, where you have that running back, wide receiver, tight end selection. Uh, but uh, my recommendation is that if you only want to take one running back and use that spot for something else, don't take a running back in, the, in that, that position where you see uh, a halfback, a wide receiver, and a tight end. Uh, you want to basically burn it with when you get all three uh, 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 halfbacks. Now, uh, the other two skill positions you're going to have an opportunity to go after is going to be wide receivers or tight ends. So you're going to have two shots of tight ends that you can go ahead and back your team up. So you're going to have one stud wide receiver. He's going to be a very good wide receiver. Then you can actually draft a few more of them if you want to, if you, if you like to run a lot of um, shotgun type formations, doubles, uh, trips type formations. But if you want to draft two tight ends you're gonna have that opportunity so this is kind of the pecking order with offensive skill positions and these are guaranteed positions so take a screen capture of this you're gonna you're gonna notice that when you do draft champions these particular things come up on a regular basis now let's talk about the offensive line position offensive line you're gonna have a guaranteed four opportunities for draft uh, picks where you're gonna be able to draft linemen so if you really want to go extremely heavy on your on your offensive line you're gonna be able to get at least four linemen uh, it's going to be, you're going to have to pick, you might get some uh, du some duplicate lineman positions, but obviously you can go ahead and s uh, switch those guys around uh, to play different types of positions, but you're going to get four of them. Now, my recommendation, if you want to be very heavy on defense and, and, and uh, light on offense, it would probably go ahead and pick maybe two offensive linemen, um, and then you could pick defensive um, uh, positions uh, such as uh, defensive tackles or, uh, out, you know, uh, left ends, right ends, those type of positions. But that's usually the kind of strategy I'll go with. But you know you'll be able to get four or four linemen. Now, on the defensive side, uh, basically your picks are going to be mixed in uh, with uh, basically those offensive linemen. You're going to get a, a guaranteed round with the, with the defensive backs, and then you're going to get five rounds where it's going to be a mixture of uh, linebackers, outside uh, defensive players, and then you're going to also have defensive backs. 
So you will get two rounds of guaranteed defensive backs. Now, they could be a combination of just corners. It could be a combination of free safeties or strong safeties. Uh, but it's going to be those type of positions that you're going to, you're going to have those two rounds. So you know that you're going to have at least two solid defensive backs that you can throw into uh, your scheme. Uh, to be uh, to be successful, uh, you're also going to have mixed picks where you're going to ba basically go ahead and pick up um, uh, your your uh, additional defenders. So if you want to be very heavy in your secondary, uh, when you get these opportunities where you're going to have uh, a free safety or strong safety with a linebacker or a corner, uh, you're probably going to have to pick those guys because you're going to have at least two picks, at least two picks where it's just going to be. Um, uh, either defensive ends or linebackers and or those type of positions so those are that's the kind of thing that you want to go and look at and if you notice you're looking at this this uh, this sheet right now that I'm showing you you don't have a lot of you don't have a lot of defensive tackles so the good thing is that defensive tackles are not really marquee players um, in this game you probably want to go with more defensive ends because you can get the block shit to go with it so one of the one of the positions, one of the rounds, you're gonna have three rounds, which are just gonna be random uh, rounds. They're gonna be rounds where you're gonna get a combination of of wide receivers, uh, tight ends, defensive backs, and it's gonna be very random. And this is this is very very common. This is where you can kind of burn your roster a little bit. You're not gonna have uh, um, a choice of different players that you want to go with. So you have to take in consideration when you got a lot of mixtures and players, uh, you could get. You, you could get stuck with certain type of players. So you can see there are random rounds where you're going to actually get to go and get and get additional offensive players. So I would table picking up an additional offensive player until you get to these mixed rounds. That would be a player that you want to do. Or maybe a defensive tackle or middle linebacker. Those are going to be the, These are going to kind of be the positions you're going to do that. Other players that would take precedence, if you had kind of a, a random round type situation, I would take strong safeties uh, in these random rounds. Strong safeties. Are very versatile. Obviously, you could put them in any kind of defensive position, but you also could take strong safeties and put them in linebacker positions based on some of the defenses you run with. So strong safeties are going to take precedence. Uh, but this is these three types of rounds right here are going to be the rounds that you actually want to go with on that. Now, one other thing I also noticed too is that the final round is going to be uh, big players. The final round is obviously going to be ultimate team players, it's going to be really, really good players. And it's always this following formula. On the left side is always going to be uh, basically a defensive back. You're going to have a def defensive back that you can choose from either cornerback or free safety or strong safety. And he's going to be a lead player, like 90 plus or so on that. Also, you're going to have a tight end or a wide receiver as one of the other elite players. So you've got an offensive player, uh, a wide receiver, tight end, or a defensive back or uh, a safety or something like that. So defensive back and, and wide receiver are going to be the two main positions interchangeably with free safeties uh, for the defensive backs and a tight end. The middle position is going to be the wild card position. It could be a middle linebacker, it could be a quarterback, it could be a halfback, it could be um, a uh, another outside rusher. It's going to be a wild card, which you're not going to be prepared for. So my recommendation is that if you're going to go into your draft and you really want to stack your team, you can go defense on one side, knowing you can get that stud player, you can get that stud wide receiver or tight end um, at the last final draft. Or conversely, if you really stack your offensive line, you know that final draft pick, you're going to be able to go ahead and get that stud, 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 um, a defensive back to go and round out your defense. So, you know, these are basically some of the things that I've actually picked up on as far as uh, the formula. I'm going to go through a few different drafts with you guys just to show you um, on how, some of the things I've actually picked up on this. Just so you, you can see uh, this algorithm. So once again, I'm a subscriber. Thanks for your support, guys. I hope this helps you uh, with uh, with basically making determinations of, of your gameplay. But I would recommend going back uh, to the very uh, the, the first sheet that I showed you, which kind of shows you all of the the actual selections here which is going to be this master right here I take a screen capture of this and this is kind of going to give you an idea it's going to show you the flow of all these different draft uh, draft picks and basically how you can, can you can have, you can construct your team to be a little bit better with it so thank you once again for your support guys I really appreciate you appreciate watching my videos and until next time